Welcome everyone to Hearts of Iron 4, playing co-op here, and me playing with Germany, and you're playing as Italy. Yes, probably. and by me, I mean me. <laughs> or like... By you, you mean you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm playing Italy again. I didn't really think of that before, but I mean, I've already played Oh Italy yeah, that, that is true. <laughs> I didn't think of that either. Yeah. But um, yeah, you, or the original plan was you playing as Germany, but I have been having access to the game you, pre-release you know and you have not. So Italy I, is almost a better North Africa here than I had as when I played in Victoria too. So yeah, just getting that out of the way. Um, that's true, but yeah, the game is released now. Yes, finally, it's 6th of June. Or, and, uh, 6th of June, yeah. It's celebrating the sort of Normandy landings, I think. Or, well, yeah, celebrating, it, 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 honoring or something. Def definite, definitely coinciding with that. Yeah. Definitely. So, if you've been waiting for the game, you can run and, and play it right now if you Well, you feel I like doubt it. they will be running <laughs> physically these well, days. Well, yeah, you can, I, you can I, physically be running to the Steam, I suppose. And can you even buy games physically in these days? I, I, don't, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's been ages. Yeah, it's been ages. Literally, PC I, games. I suppose. Who, I suppose if you're playing uh, consoles, then who even has sure. a like DVD slot anymore? Disc yeah, slot. That's true. Anyway, uh, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're interested in it, go. So buy. basically, yeah. what what we went for here is that I'm a very sort of beginner when it comes to uh, Hearts of Iron. I'm a big Paradox player, or uh, well, big fan. I wouldn't say I'm good at it. Um, but we or originally wanted me to play as the German Reich, but as that's sort of like a full time job. Uh, I mean, seriously, if you you should almost be able to put that on your resume. Hey, I've been able to play German Reich on uh, Hearts of Iron Four. Can I have this job, please? And well, like, I mean, Ooh. it would be it would be more of a resume if you put like, uh, hey, I played uh, Germany in Hearts of Iron Three. Uh, well, yeah, sure, give or take. Um, give but or take, yeah. anyway, so my idea of playing Italy is kind of like that. My incompetence will be, you know flustered out my, by being your, Italy. Your incompetence will be my undoing. <laughs> well, that too, but it's, it will just be historically correct. I'm yeah, more like true. Mussolini and you're more like Hitler, that's what we're saying. I, I'm not sure if I fancy being called Hitler, but sure. Hey. Let's go with it. Yeah. yeah. So organizing my... So we're, we're starting out. 1936, uh, which mm -hmm. is, um, well, I guess the standard, really. You can start 1939, too. Is, uh, is that the only dates you can start? You can't pick a date, only, right? Yeah, it's the only dates. Yeah. In Hearts of Iron 3, I believe, it was uh, like 1941 and stuff like that. And even something uh, with starting like 1945, uh, you know, after the war. Kind of like a Cold War scenario. Right. Fighting in between the Soviet Union and uh, the Allies in Germany again. Yeah. <laughs> not surprising, uh, so, but that's not that's not part of the game. At least not now. Maybe I, in... I would have liked if the game, if you could start like 1930 or something too, because then you could, you know, potentially ask Germany perhaps aim for a peaceful solution in Europe and sort of try to build your society vision or something like that. But hey, uh, okay, anyway, but maybe they, maybe they'll add some more after after a while. Yeah. So do we have anything to add like before starting in terms of like? I guess you've pretty much covered introductions and stuff to countries and everything. Mm, yeah, I mean, this. Uh, I've been, while we're talking, kind of organized my country, getting it ready for... Oh, I haven't done anything of the now. sort. Uh, well, so, how is, is this your first time playing Germany in this... Uh... It is. I, have, um, I was considering playing Germany on my own before, but I don't know, it doesn't seem as, as fun. Yeah. Uh, or, yes, unique, I suppose. Everyone has played Germany. There's a million people playing Germany There's a million on, uh, Germans. on YouTube and so on. <laughs> Plus, you know, I played Japan in, in House of Fire and Free previously, so it seemed like a you know, good idea to play Japan on my own. Yeah. So you've told me that things are going to be a bit easier with army structuring and stuff, which is, uh, well, I doubt they could be more difficult than they were in Horse of Iron 3, so that's, that's something good. Um, I'm noticing that as Italy, I have... Um, I don't have that big of an army. I have about 17 divisions in the north, and well, I, ha I do have some in Africa too, but, well, actually, only one division really, or two divisions. Um, but I have a huge <laughs> fleet. Up your mind. I, I have to say, I I'm impressed by the size of my fleet. Yeah, you have a big fleet. You, st you start with a, b a big fleet, not as big of an army, but you should do fine. Either way, with with what you have, yeah. Honestly, so what's our general strategy here? I mean, um, we have hang on, Spain, uh, no faction. Could we? 
Could we yeah, they will have uh, the civil war soon. Yeah. So we should probably intervene there and try to help them. That can you actually do that reasonable. this time? I, I, you, as I remember... You can send... Um, there's a, a function where you can send volunteers to help out. Oh. And you actually gain control of the volunteers Ooh, during yes. the time. Yes, that's what you uh, couldn't do that before. Was, that, was really, right? uh, that was really fun uh, because I was playing as uh, fascist Russia for a while. And when I was Soviet Union, I intervened on the side of the Republic of Spain with five units. So I did a lot of missions in the north helping out against Franco. Oh. And then after that, I helped out China against Japan. So do you, for being fascist Russia, I was... Um, do you gain those afterwards regular. somehow? Uh, you you retain your uh, volunteers. Ooh, you do, and exciting. you have something up here called army experience. You have uh, you know the three branches of the of the military: army, navy, and air. Hmm. With exercising, which you can do on armies, it gives you just a tiny bit of experience. Where is this? Hang on. But it's uh, right at the top, right. like in the middle of the top yeah. of the screen. Yeah. Okay. It's those uh, those stars there. Uh, but as you know, they fight in uh, as volunteers. They gain you some experience which is then used to edit you know if you want to create your own division you need experience to kind of edit them and and add them together so you can get some valuable experience from there and uh, that can help you quite a bit right you see i can't go into the rhineland it's demilitarized pretty Sh sure should we can we ally now or do we have to do faction stuff before uh we i suppose I, i'm going to see if i can if i can invite you to faction I can actually invite you to the faction. Oh. It says that you will not accept, but well, we'll see about take that. Take into account that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see about that. So yeah, I think that that army okay, has I, refused. Yeah, I just declined for shits and giggles. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Oh right, okay, well, okay? I'm going to I'm going to to murder you by actually starting the time now. So Ugh, I forgot slowly. how time is time is slowly passing. I by. forgot how annoying of a situation I have in Ethiopia with like. Um... Yeah, you started a war. I'm pretty D sure. Do I? Yeah, <laughs> you're actually at war now with Ethiopia. Uh oh. I... That's a nice portrait of uh, Haile Selassie. I gotta say, he looks really cool. I mean, there's there's some really really good portraits. Like for for example, if you have time, go to Tibet. And look at the guy there. His hat is amazing. Uh, I love that hat. Hang on, Tibet. Where are we now? Um, yes. Uh, can I... If I'm at Tibet, can I just somehow... Oh, yeah, yeah there I we click go. on oh, the yeah. state owner. <laughs> there. Yeah, he, uh, he's going to he a party. He has a wonderful hat. He's going to a party. <laughs> he's going to a wonderful party. I don't know. It, it's just, he's just awesome. I like him. He can stay. Uh, probably starting to build some divisions. I suppose we can go in Thuringen or Thuringen, whatever. And the divisions of tanks can uh, they can gather in Dresden for a big party in Saxon there. That seems reasonable. So tell me when uh, when you can incre increase speed. Right. As far as I've, I've been made aware of the war against uh, Ethiopia, basically form an army. Draw front the front line and then draw your you know, an offensive line at the back of the country and then click go, and you should probably win yourself a war right then and there. Uh, that will increase speed as a t for time being, getting it to go a bit faster. Especially for me because I have done pretty much all I need to do for the moment. It's just um, it's just waiting for a bit. I have uh, a fleet here of submarines in uh, Untersee Boats Flot. God, I'm bad at German. <laughs> I know it means I means I know it means U-boat fl uh, fleet, but how to pronounce it? I don't know. And over here, there's Kriegsmarine with two heavy cruisers, six light cruisers, and uh, four destroyers, and some more, some more submarines. No battleship though. I want to see. Do they start building battle heavy cruisers now? Deutsche Dankless. Oh, there we are. I'm gonna see though what what tanks. How does the tank look for like for for Germany? Starts with Panzer II unlocked. Really from the start. That's pretty fast. Well, Panzer II in this day and age that should be. Yeah. Yeah. I could go for Panzer III if I want. To I be. have to Start say also with Gross Tractor. I'm extremely. Uh, I, I'm I'm not very good at all with Italian. Commanders. In fact, I can't really recognize any of these except Badoglio because he was, um, well, uh, Mussolini's rival, pretty much, as I recall. Mm. But 
but Dogly almost sounds like Mowgli. Yo. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Ignore me. What? Do you, do you want to promote Cavalero? All positive traits and one skill point will be lost. Well, I mean, that's the cost of recruiting, is it? No, like... Uh, okay, what what position does he have now? Is it just a general or is it a field marshal type of guy? He's a general. Yeah, so generals, I think, have... Uh, I think those are the ones having, like, a cap of, uh, you know, 24. Yeah, yeah. Divisions I can handle. Uh, so unless there's more than 24, there's no point in promoting him. Because all that will do is make him a field marshal, which will allow him to command basically unlimited amount of troops. Okay, well, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to make him the head of, of three divisions, so that shouldn't be the issue, right? No, no, you can you can leave him as B. Okay, I'll just say... Or as, as, as he is. Yeah. Do you know, by the way, how to move units between? Because you have a lot of, you know separated by sea things so you kind of need to transport things overseas uh, you know, good point uh, is there a simplified way of doing that there there is a simplified way no need for transports anymore all you need to do is uh, select the divisions yeah then click on uh, you see the kind of railway symbol up top called strategic redeployment hang on uh railway symbol strategic when you have the divisions uh, selected. Yeah, where where in the top? Was it the right? No? It's like in the middle of... of, uh, of pre precisely above, you know, where the selected units are. Uh, if you have an army, it will be... Oh, uh, there! Like okay, in there. the actual tab, yeah. Yeah, so you click on that one, and then you right-click on the navy icon, or no, the port icon, the naval base icon, of where you want them to go, and they will automatically make their way there. Okay. Pretty easy. It's very easy, in fact. Very sim uh, very well, I at the moment. don't seem to have gotten any confirmation that they're actually going there. You, but should, you should get enough confirmation, like you see the lines moving there, and so on. If they're, if they're you know, able to do it, I suppose. Maybe, um, like it's, as far as I know, it's fairly sensitive in that you kind of need to hit it on point. Like on point of the uh, naval base. If you click anywhere else nearby, it will not work. But if you click exactly on a naval base, they will start moving there. Okay. Or um, should. At least. But wait, are they? Cannot transport from a non naval base location. Oh, so I need to. Oh, be... yeah, so you, okay, so you need to move into the naval base. Ah, so I missed, okay. that. I missed that part. Yeah, oh, sorry. But still, it's fairly easy. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would agree. Uh, so yeah, okay, now, now it works. I'm with you. I can Good. learn things. Uh, how's my war going? I have no idea. Uh, what, what is going on here? No, I, I do have... Bedoglio is apparently the... The head here. Of the invasion of uh, Ethiopia. Oh. oh, now it's started. It's started. We can uh, send the volunteers. So I have a battle here. I have no idea how it's going. I'm so bad at reading. We are currently winning. Okay, good. <laughs> General Amare Mikael. Have they actually researched Ethiopian generals? I mean, this is... I, I guess that's not too much to ask, given the complexity of these games in general, but I'm somehow still amazed that I have a sort of portrait of him. Mm, I can understand that. But, I mean, uh, Ethiopia kind of have a prominent place, since they are starting at the war with Italy, it's like a given that it will happen. So they also have a you know a custom portrait of Haile Selassie, or however you pronounce his name, because he's the leader of Ethiopia, the emperor of Ethiopia. But I wanted to point out that the civil war has broken out in Spain. So I saw. So I'm going to send two divisions to uh, to help Fran Francisco Franco on his way there. So those divisions should be there in the 12th of March. I can only send two divisions for some reason. But you should uh, kind of make a custom army of only two divisions or whatever else you, you can send there and uh, also help out Republican, not, not Republican Spain, but Nationalist Spain along the way. I have a feeling they need all the help that they can get. As soon as we will be able to uh, occupy the Rhineland and Mosul land, which is pretty good. It gives a fair amount of political power and a tiny, tiny bit of army experience. And of course, France will not be very happy. They will be slightly worried, in fact. I wonder why. So now it's only 
six days left until five days now until they have arrived i'm excited to to fight a bit of battle it's, it helps to kind of break out like if you start at 1936 in some countries it can be really goddamn boring at times when you're just waiting for things so uh, having being being able to actually help out another country without having to go to war itself it's pretty fun there we go. The remilitarization of the Rhineland. How how did I uh, how do I send units to Spain? Yeah, so you click you click on the diplom diplomatic thing. Right. And you take them up and diplomacy, and then you have uh, send volunteers. Ah, oh, let's see. Uh, Nationalist Spain. And then then it will tell you on that pop up thing, as you know how many divisions you can send in total. And so on. So you kind of need to make your own army that that fits it. They are over there. There they weren't in. Let's see. Anderson. Gosh, it's treated with the USSR. I mean that's pretty fun. Treated with the USSR. Or I can go into ah, anti and pact. We need to be at peace to send volunteers, which kind of makes sense. Oh yeah, that, I suppose that makes sense. So I will not so be. You need to finish off. But I mean, I have order. my own training ground here, so. Yeah, true. I've been thinking maybe I should, you know, employ Ernst Talman to uh, become communist. I mean, depose Hitler. Doesn't that sound like a worthwhile goal? I suppose. Or maybe turn it into democracy. I could make the Federal Republic of Germany. Nah, uh, no, no, no. I will go for silent workers. Rudolf Hess, welcome to the government. Welcome to the government. You can get some, like when uh, when I was playing on on uh, my separate playthrough, uh, it happened that you know the Hindenburg that's supposed to blow up in in New York. I don't remember which year it is. Yeah. But so for some reason it did not blow up, and what happened was that it, it kind of stayed in Germany until Rudolf Hess in like 1939 or whatever stole it and took it to tr transport himself to Scotland. What? But the, Brit the British shot it down and he died. I was like, what the hell is happened? That's the most stupid thing I've ever heard. Yeah, it was like Rudolf the Hindenburg Hess has blown up, and it was like Rudolf Hess was on it, and you could recover his his corpse. I was like, what the hell? What? I don't know. Like the the British kind of found him in the wreckage of it. And they were nice enough to go like, hey, do you want this corpse? We don't want it. Yeah. Okay. We don't want it. Nice. Nice we don't want to pay for the funeral. Uh, oh god, I have Madrid. I actually have quite a sizable force, but so does. Uh, is it, can I see how many? How many men nationally Spain have? Yeah, it's a fair amount. A fair amount. Should be able to get some detailed information about them. 21 to 42 divisions, so I would guess maybe 30 or so. That seems reasonable. Uh, I'm a, it's a bit sad that I cannot not send more volunteers than this. Only two div divisions. What a shame. Can you even send expeditionary forces to to national Spain? Uh, do I need to... let's see... boost expeditionary force. We must be at the same faction to send expeditionary force. Oh, I'm oh. not part of the faction, am I? Oh yeah, we forgot to fix that yeah. after you so cruelly turned down oh, yeah. the invitation. There we go. Now we invited you, or I invited you to And I will accept this time. time. Uh, Welcome! Expeditionary force... well... Am I not in the same... Oh, no, Republic of Spain. Oh. Uh, National Spain. They will not join for various reasons. Despite me helping them out. One division kind of push through there. I have Fedor von Bock leading the oh, volunteers. We must fight alongside Nationalist war Spain in a war first. Hmm? Ah, so many requirements. Yeah, I mean, that's a surprising... But then, yeah, I don't know. Expedition force, I guess that makes sense. I'm not sure how things are going here against Ethiopia. I'm, I was drawing an offensive line, but they don't seem to have understood what I meant, because now I'm surrounded. Seriously, this is terrible. Are you are you saying that you're losing to... God damn it! Holy shit, yeah, what are yeah, you but doing? Seriously, I mean, I, I did, as you said, I put, like, a front line... Uh, 
Yeah, and then I put a defensive line at the back of the country, sort of. But they didn't but did, really obey did, that at all. But did you click to start? Like if you, uh, yeah, so you select the unit, you, the army has like a, a go button to execute the battle plan. <sighs> Seriously? I, I thought yeah. that was sort of understood that, oh well. No, it, it, it's so basically so you can, you're allowed to make a battle plan without them okay. executing well, it in the meanwhile I, while you make it. That's, I understand that part, but I understand it only now after I've been told, which is, yeah. So, okay, we'll we'll do this again. Front line, uh, ba -ba -ba -bam, and we'll see if I can still save this somehow. Somehow Hopefully. I doubt it. 